excited that I have the opportunity. Thank you. Yes, me too. Me too. So um, how do you say your first name? Uh, Diomedes. Diomedes, just like it's yeah. spelled. And where are you? Uh, I'm actually in North uh, California. I'm uh, in Mountain View. Mountain View. Oh, yeah, I know it well. I trained in San Francisco, so I, okay. I used to I used to live not far from there. Well, yeah, it's really nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. So I've got your MRI. I can see that you've got a big old herniated disc. So what happened? Did you injure yourself or just came on on its own? Um, I didn't do anything in particular, like nothing happened acutely to the best of my understanding. I, I don't remember, um, you know, something of a big injury. Um, I'm, I'm actually overall pretty, pretty active. I do sports and I used to do sports. I did have back problems, uh, you know, for quite some years, but I, I managed to live them through, you know, trying to run and exercise, oh. uh, but always, you know, uh, cautious, uh, not to make things uh, any worse than they are. Yeah. Um, and effectively since um, mid-December, I started having pain on my gluteus and going a little bit to the side of my thigh and um, you know i've had uh, i tried to go to the doctor it took me some time uh, uh, i got an mri uh, and the pain is more or less the same like uh, i do have the pain doesn't necessarily seem to go away i'm trying to follow up some you know basic physiotherapy but um, doesn't necessarily improve i mm. i don't have any neurological deficit uh, but of course, I'm concerned. I mean, I, I want to understand what's happening, and you know, I want yeah. to have some 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 good opinions. Yeah, I'm. I'm. How old are you? Uh, Forty. I'm very curious. You said you had back problems before. How yeah. old were you when you had them before? Uh, I did my first MRI in 2020, maybe 20, 28. But um, I think it was because I was lifting weights. Um, so yeah. 2000. 10 is when I realized I had herniated discs. Um, but I, I don't remember them being a limiting factor for me, you know. Yeah, it got better. It got better. Well, that gives everyone hope. So many people in their 20s are dealing with herniated discs and, oh, my God, it's depressing. And so I'm glad to hear someone now who's 40 who's who can say, yeah, for decades it was gone because it does go away. But then, unfortunately, it also can come back. But it, it makes a big difference with you. I'll show you why when we look at your MRI. Yep. I just want to recap your pain and make sure I have this right. It's mostly in the back. It's on the left side or the right side? Actually, I don't have pain on the back. I mainly have pain on my gluteus, left gluteus. Left back, okay. Left gluteus, and that goes down uh, to the side uh, of my thigh. And I can feel yeah. it a little bit on my calf. And yeah. Yeah, and but there's no weakness in your legs. You can stand on your toes and your heels, I and all of that's good. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, let me show you your MRI. I think that's going to shed a lot of light on what's going on with you. Um, I'm going to share my screen, and the MRI should pop up on yours. Are you seeing it here? Yes. So the first thing today is we look at the alignment and this is the middle of your spine and you've got a little muscle spasm but it looks good no dramatic uh findings these images are hard to see and uh, sometimes we can see the hips in your case i can't really see them and what they showed me we'll look at your mri down the sagittal so this is right down the middle of your back and the things that we notice if you start here this is up toward your head and this is down toward your bum and then let's take a look at the vertebrae. These are the bones of the back here. And these are the discs, the pancakes between the bones. And a normal disc stops at the end of the bone. And then you have the white of the spinal fluid and the nerve roots. This disc is not the same as that one. It's irregular, so there's been some damage to it. But it largely stops just after the bones. But this disc is protruded out here so there's a large area where this disc is so-called herniated and it's sticking out into the spinal canal and it's sticking out a lot when we look at this this is about a third to a half of the width of the spinal canal this is a cyst called a tarlov cyst in one of the nerves in the in your sacrum it's an incidental finding 
Um, but that's what we see on your MRI. To get a better sense of it, we're going to look perpendicular. And that's what we see over here. And this is the disc. This is the herniated disc right here. That should, this line should end there. So all of this is where the disc is sticking out. And it is off to the left side. Is it the left buttock or the right buttock? Uh, it's it's the left. I do have some sensation on the right. By the way, there is a connection between my right and left. So if I raise, raise my right leg, I can feel it on my left buttock. Hmm. So, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That can be what's called a crossed straight leg raise where the nerve root is being stimulated by the other side. But if that were the case, you would have the same side straight leg raise first and you don't. So that's probably just the joint. It's probably just the joint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that's really interesting because what we the first thing we look at, when, especially in someone who's had herniated discs in the past, when your herniated discs get better, they don't look normal. So like, let's say we did an MRI on you 10 years ago when you were not having any pain. It's possible that we would have seen all of these same changes. And that's what makes us, you got to slow down in a situation like yours. The key to getting rid of the pain is to aligning what you're feeling with what we see on the MRI, because we see more than one thing on the MRI. What you're feeling is a cross between typical nerve root pain. It's not in the back, it's in the leg. It goes into the outside of the lower calf. That's typical nerve root. But then other features of it are typical joint. And those features are, it goes into the butt and it burns in the outer part of the thigh. So the the kind of, it's like you, it's I feel like, if you look out the window of your car and you see a brown animal standing on all fours with a long nose and big ears, and it's about as tall as you, you'd say, that's a horse. And if you looked out the window of a car and you were in Africa and you saw that same appearance, but it was white with black stripes, you'd say, that's a zebra. I feel like we're looking out the window of the car. We're not sure where we are and we can't quite tell if there's stripes. <laughs> like, like it's both, you know, yeah. you're kind of like, you're kind of in between. And when you get in, and it makes a, an enormous difference because the treatment for a herniated disc with sciatica at this stage is epidural injection. The treatment for a, um, a facet arthropathy causing mechanical back pain is medial branch block and radiofrequency ablation. And you're now more than 12 weeks out, so you're a good candidate for treatment of some kind. So um, the surgical treatment, microdiscectomy, is notoriously bad for these kinds of discs. It's a big disc, it's wide, and oftentimes when you cut into something like this, you just make it worse. So very high threshold for going into microdiscectomy. So it's just crucial in your case that we figure out what's causing this. and because the symptoms are not definitive, the next step is usually to get an injection, a block. And I always say, if you can block it, you can tackle it. Okay. If we could if we could block this pain, numbing medicine like lidocaine lasts for about two hours, marking lasts for four to six hours. If we could inject some numbing and block this for just a few hours, then we would know what it was, right? If we numbed up the nerves that go to the joint, and the pain went away, then we would know it was the joint. If we numbed up the nerve root and the pain went away, then we would know it was the nerve root. So the next step for you in my mind is to do an injection trial, which is called a medial branch block. Have you ever had one of those? Uh, no, I, I haven't had any uh, medical intervention yet. They're done by They're done by pain management doctors and just to be just to at the risk of sounding repetitive, it's a test. It's not a treatment. Yeah. Medial branch block. If that blocks the pain for a few hours, then you're a good candidate for what's called radio frequency ablation. And those are both done by pain management doctors. They're they're non-invasive. They're done through a needle. They don't cause you to lose any strength or structure. So they're not going to affect your sports or your long-term ability to function. And the radio frequency ablation, if your medial branch block 
relieves 80% or more of your pain for a few hours, then radiofrequency ablation in most people, about 60%, relieves 85% of the pain for an average of 10 months. So it's temporary, but 10 months. I mean, that's that's good. Okay. Um, um, overall, uh, is that something that, I mean, I can, I would like to, to, to do the medial branch blocks. Um, yeah. Is there a long-term solution or I am more or less, no? The long-term solution is um, to manage the problem sequentially. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the definitive solution would be to have the entire disc removed and the inner space fused together. But that's not a long-term solution either because 17% of people who have that fusion which I would not recommend for you at this point, by the way, but 17% of people end up having to have an adjacent level fusion within five years because of weakness caused by the first fusion. So, so no, there's no, th this is a problem not unlike diabetes or, um, or some other uh, chronic lung problems. This is a problem that needs to be managed over time. You, you're not likely to be cured of it. That's it. Which it makes it no different than marriage. Till death do you part, but there's no divorce. <laughs> you can't you can't get out of this one. Uh, so this is also the reason why it doesn't get any better. Because you're married. Okay, that's. Uh... No, that was a joke. Uh, no, no, that's, uh, that sounds pretty really, uh, pretty. No, pretty... no, minus. no, done. No, uh, so the reason it's not getting better is. Um, because you haven't had any treatment for it, right? That you haven't done anything to make it get better. So if your body could have healed it, it probably would have by now, mm -hmm. but it couldn't quite do it. So you need a little help. So it's a good time to look to get treatment. You're you're right at the point where you need a doctor. You need a doctor to help you. Um, okay, so, but you said the first, uh, first is a diagnostic test, a medial uh, blockage, and then, just to confirm what joints you said, is it the facet joints that? Uh, yes, yes, F-A-C-E-T, -A -A facet joint. And um, there's a whole playlist on my YouTube channel about um, uh, low back pain due to arthritis. Y mm -hmm. Yours is, as you're, you're a young guy and you're an athlete, so this probably happened as a result of a repetitive sports injury would be, but who <laughs> we'll never know, you know, there's no way to know for sure. But that's probably the case, and so. Um, but it's still the same category. It's low back pain due to facet joint injury, arthritis, spondylosis, whatever you want to call it. But there's a whole there's a whole playlist on videos that can can give you a lot of information. But the bottom line is, it's medial branch block followed by radio frequency ablation. That's the standard treatment. It's done by a pain management doctor. You want to find one that is um that is a good fit for you and you, so you want to find they've got to have two features they've got to be board certified in either anesthesiology or physical medicine and rehab i find that the athletes sometimes get along better with the physical medicine and rehab docs sometimes those doc there's a lot of those pm and r physical medicine and rehab pm and r there's a lot of those pm and r docs that kind of came out of sports science and they're they're super cool people and they'll get you and what's going on with you so if you can find one of those to do your medial branch block that would be a good a good fit for you awesome. okay lovely well hard news to, to bear <laughs> well i want to remind you though You've probably had this a long time and you did well for a long time when you didn't know about it. Yeah. So don't let knowing about it keep you from doing well again. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a really good chance if I would have done an MRI on you 10 years ago, when you were 10 years away from having any symptoms, that it would have shown exactly what we see today. So you're not, this isn't cancer. This is something that you need to manage that you've got, but You've had it a long time, even though you didn't know about it. It's you. It's part of you. You can manage it. You got this. You can handle this. You just need to take care of it and move on. Got it. Got it. Uh, maybe one one comment. Um, 
I had another MRI in 2017, and actually it wasn't there. Let me see. Uh, I don't have that MRI. No, no, no I, have, I haven't said this one, but it, I, I don't think I am. Uh, it was there as a, um, I had the hernia, but it was not so big. I mean, it was yeah, well, I, But yeah. how do you know? You know, the, sometimes the way they describe them, it could be that the, it wasn't probably the same radiologist. Did they do a direct comparison? No, 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 has done that. Well, you know, you're entitled to that. So if you take your, or if you go to go to the place that had your, that did your MRI, and say, hey, I had an MRI in this year. I would like the radiologist to do a direct comparison on the size of the disc herniation. It's their responsibility to get that old scan and measure it and really tell you. The reason I say that is oftentimes the language that people use, that the radiologists use, is not the same, but the finding is the same. No, so you, you, two people describe something the same way, de describe it the same thing differently. And so, it, or if you want, find the old MRI and come back on my show. I'll be happy to go over it with you. And we can we can put them both up and see if it really is changed or not. But um, I... I don't think it matters that much. I, I, I you, even let's say I knew that it was the same. I, my recommendation to you would be the same. Let's say I knew that it was bigger. My recommendation would still be the same. And so, you know, it's your cross to bear. I understand. Lovely. Thank you very much, Doctor. <laughs> Welcome to the rest of your life. Our bodies don't get better with age. They get more challenging. You can do this. You got this, big guy. You got this. You've been through this before. You're stronger than most. You're lean. You're strong. You got this. You're gonna. You're gonna be okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Let me. Let me know how it goes. Okay. I will do so. Have a good day. Yes. You too. Cheers. Bye. Now.